Stranger Things will expand after the main show is over with a spin-off show, and while there are many options for it, one focused on Dustin isn't what I would like to see. Netflix is home to some of the most successful and beloved TV shows in recent years, and among them is Stranger Things. After three seasons full of twists and shocking reveals, but also many mysteries, Stranger Things is ending with its fifth season, which has a lot to address and solve to bring the show to a satisfying end. Stranger Things Season 4 ended on a bleak note as Max, Sadie Sink, was left in a coma after her encounter with Vecna, Jamie Campbell Bauer. Max's near-death experience was what Vecna needed for his plans to be set into motion, and the upside down began to bleed into Hawkins. Season 5 won't be the end of Stranger Things after all as it will expand with a spin-off series, and though any character could lead this project, Dustin isn't one I would like to see in a spin-off. Gatton Matarazzo is up for a Dustin spin-off, but I don't think that will work. Dustin isn't a character for a Stranger Things spin-off. Dustin gets emotional at his high school in Stranger Things Season 4 Episode 9. Details about the Stranger Things spin-off series are unknown as the project is in development, so there are many paths it could take. Stranger Things has plenty of characters that could be the leaders of a spin-off series and events that could be explored more deeply, however, I don't think any character would make a good lead character for the Stranger Things spin-off, and one of them is Dustin. Speaking with Radio Times in September 2024, Gatton Matarazzo opened up about Dustin's fate in Stranger Things Season 5 and the possibility of a Dustin spin-off. Matarazzo shared that Dustin's fate in Season 5 will be a bookend, and that he thinks it will wrap up really nicely. As for Dustin's future beyond Stranger Things Season 5, Matarazzo said he would love to reprise his role as Dustin to see what's up with him, and he would love to see what Dustin is like as a 30-year-old. Dustin is certainly a key member of the Hawkins crew, and his team up with Steve is one of my favorites, but he isn't a character that could lead a Stranger Things spin-off TV show. Not all Stranger Things characters could work as the lead of a TV show as they work best along with other characters, and that's the case for Dustin. His character improved a lot when he was paired with Steve, so much so that this fan-favorite pair continued in seasons 3 and 4. A Steve-slash-Dustin spin-off could work a lot better than just a Dustin spin-off, and I'm still not fully convinced. But the truth is that a Stranger Things continuation would be a lot better if it focused on other characters or events that added to this universe. The Stranger Things spin-off can be used to solve some of the show's biggest mysteries. Stranger Things spin-off can be beneficial to this universe. If the world of Stranger Things expands with a spin-off TV series, it should be in a way that adds to it. One more season might not be enough to solve all the mysteries of the Upside Down, Hawkins Lab, and more, so a spin-off show could help fill in those gaps. The most obvious choice for a Stranger Things spin-off TV series is Eleven, but there are other characters who could also take the lead. Eleven's forgotten sister, Kai, would be a great choice to lead a spin-off TV show, as Stranger Things left many questions about her. The Stranger Things spin-off series could also go back in time to explore Henry Creel's time at Hawkins' lab, way before he became Vecna, showing all the experiments he went through and how Dr. Brenner ended up creating more kids with different psychic abilities. A spin-off focused on the horrors inside Hawkins' lab, before, during, or after Henry Creel's arrival, could also solve some huge mysteries while also introducing new characters that weren't included in the main series. Stranger Things spin-off can explore characters in the future. Stranger Things spin-off could make a time jump. The Stranger Things cast in Season 3. The Stranger Things spin-off series could also make a time jump to reunite with some characters. Similar to Matarazzo's desire to see what Dustin is up to as a grown-up, I think it would be a lot better to see what the group, Eleven, Max, Will, Mike, Lucas, and Dustin, is doing as adults, similarly to what Stephen King's it did with the losers, but, hopefully, they won't go through more traumatic experiences. Another interesting option is following characters like Lucas' sister Erica and or Mike's youngest sister Holly in the 1990s, and they would actually make an interesting team.